Mm -hmm. Right hand there. Yeah. yeah. You see, you play in, you play it here. You play it here. I want you to play it there, on the bottom of the key. Play it slowly, one note after another. But not like a machine. Play, play like legato. You know, going from one note to another. Because you know, this is why you do the wrong notes here, or why you have problems in going down the chord. Because you, there's no transmission between one finger and the other. You know, you go from one finger to another, like a cat. Yeah, the fingers have to be more active. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. You know what? Sit down on the floor. Sit down on the floor like this. And now have the finger just hanging here, hanging. Yes. No hanging. The whole hand just hanging here. Yes, hanging on the last, last finger. Just on this. Just on this. The rest is hanging here. Everything is hanging. Okay. Now this. This is the second one. Just hanging here. Yeah. So you have contact with the bottom of the key, right with the bottom of the key. And you go one note after another, look, like this. OK? Try. Yes, it's better. But this is hanging. This is not playing. This is hanging. Just nothing. So the whole weight of the hand here, everything is just on this. You know? Yes, yes, OK. Yes. You see, this is breaking sometimes. Did you feel that? Yes. Sometimes it's breaking. So it's basically, OK, we can stand up. Basically, I would like to think more, we could call it legato, actually. This going from one note to another and feeling the bottom of the key. OK? Mm -hmm. In whatever position in you are. Now, standing is much more difficult, but look how active the fingers are. They're very active. They go from one hand, from one finger to another. OK, try this. Yes. Especially the first finger is not active. It's playing like this. It, it has to take the key. 